Display sound and video. It's easy in Moodle to display sound files like MP3s, video files like MP4, or externally hosted files such as on YouTube. With the multimedia filter enabled, these files display in their own player, as we can see in this history course, where the teacher has uploaded an MP3 file of the course objectives, and if we scroll down, we see she's embedded a YouTube video directly on the course page. If you have media files of your own, the easiest way to embed them is by drag and drop. Our teacher here turns on the editing, scrolls to where she wants the file and drags it from her desktop. She can either display it as a clickable link or add it directly to the course page in a label. Let's go back to our Teacher Sam's course to explore this more. You can display sound and video files anywhere there is a text editor so, for example, we could do it in a section summary or in a page resource. But first, we are going to use what Moodle calls a label. So we enable edit mode, then in the section we want our media file, we click add an activity or resource, and then choose label. Remember, if it's a short file, you can simply record directly into the Atto editor. But we are going to upload an MP3 sound file of the course objectives. When we've added our text, we click the media icon, choose audio, and then browse repositories to find or upload the mp3 sound file. Note that other options are available too, but we'll look at those in a moment. When we click insert media, the file doesn't yet display in its player. We'll only see it once we click save and return to course. And here it is. In this course about celebrating cultures, the teacher has uploaded an MP4 video file they made. Let's click Edit Settings and then the media icon and look at the other options. You can specify the size and upload a thumbnail. Decide how this video will play and add subtitles and captions in various languages. But what if you haven't created your own sound or video files? Let's explore two ways of adding YouTube videos. Again, we go to add an activity or resource and add a label. If we know the URL of our YouTube video and multimedia filters are enabled, we simply need to paste and link to the YouTube URL and it will display embedded once we save the label. However, if you have several videos, it's better to display them in a page resource where students can click to go to the videos rather than having a number of videos directly on your course page. In this page, in the content section, we click the media icon, choose video, browse repositories, and then YouTube, which our administrator has enabled. There are various criteria we can use to search. We type in a key term. Let's use French alphabet rap. And then when we click the search button, YouTube presents us with some possible videos to choose from. And we simply click the one we want and select it. Again, when we click insert media, we don't yet see the embedded YouTube video until we save and return to course. Learners click the link and can see the video embedded in the page.